Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the types of data objects. In the previous video, we cover what are the various categories of data types. Now we will cover what are the various types of data object. We have two types of data object. First one is literals and the second one is named data object. Literals are also called as unnamed data object. So if someone is saying unnamed data object, you can simply understand he or she is talking about literals. Now we will understand what is unnamed data object and what are named data object. We'll firstly start with literals, which are also called as unnamed data object. Word itself is saying literals do not have any name. They do not have a name. That's why they are called as unnamed data object. But they do they have the value? Yes, data object has a value. The meaning of data object is itself. Data object is what? It has data or content or value. So unnamed data object do not have a name but they have the value. They are fully defined by their value itself. They do not have a name, but they have a value because data object is all about the value only. Suppose now if we talk about what are the various types of literals, we have two types of literals. First one is numeric literals and the second one is character literals. What is numeric literals? They are the sequence of numbers. And what is character literals? They are the sequence of alphanumeric character. Because we all know character is alphanumeric always. Means character can accept A to Z also and 0 to 9 also. So what is numeric literal? They are the sequence of numbers. And what is character literals? They are the sequence of alphanumeric character. Now, if we talk about the example of numeric literals, you can see 1, 2, 3. It is a sequence of numbers. We have 4, 5, 6, 7. And have you seen? I put minus sign also. So numeric literals can accept plus or minus sign also. Now, in case of character literals, we have the most important point. Whenever you will give a sequence of alphanumeric character, you have to put in single quotes. So if you see test 1, 2, 3 is a character literal. SAP ABAP is a character literal. So they are in single quotes. They are in single quotes. And you can see this character letter, this character literal has character also, numbers also, because character is all about alphanumeric. Now, we will just go for what we discuss in the literals. Literals are called as unnamed data object. Unnamed data object word itself is saying they do not have any name at all, but they have the values. They are of two types, numeric literal, character literal. Numeric literal is a sequence of numbers only. You can see this is the sequence. This is the sequence and we can pass minus and plus sign also. Now, what is character literal? Character literal is a sequence of characters, sequence of alphanumeric characters. And whenever you are going for character literal, you have to use single quotes. Just recall the previous video when we cover what is data object and data type. At that time, I show you one example. If I will come on to that example. In this example, what is this 10? What is this 10? I'm talking about this 10 only. What is this 10? 
This 10 is a sequence of number. It means it is a numeric literal. Have I given any name for this? No, I have not given any name. I just use the value. I just use the content. I just use the data. So this 10 is a numeric literal, numeric literal. So this, it is just a sequence of numbers. So you can also understand how you will use the numeric literals in the programming. Once programming will start, we will use numeric literal and character literals. Yes. So now we will move on to our next type of data object. Our next type of data object is named data object. Word itself is saying data objects that have a name are called as named data object. Now named data object are of three types, variables, constants, and text symbols. Now, what is variable? Word itself is saying variable means change. So if the values of data object are changing, that data object is called as a variable variable and many times people will always listen the term variable now they can easily easily relate what is variable variable is itself a data object yes sir if we will go for variable we can use these many statements to declare a variable data class data statics parameters select option range statement with the help of all these keywords, we can declare uh, we can declare the variables. As of now, we we only only you can only or we only discuss that data data keyword. We have not discussed anything else because once the programming will start, we will go for all these things. So, what is variable? Variable is a named data object and the word itself is saying what is variable means their contents or values are changing. We'll go for an example. Suppose I am using data keyword. If you are using data keyword, is it a variable? Yes, it is a variable. LV underscore EMP ID. It is the name of the data object. So what is named data object? If you are giving the name to the data object, it is called as named data object. So this is our named data object. And under the named data object, it is a variable. First time I assign the value 10. Second time, I assign the value 20 to this data object. So it means it is a variable. Values are changing for this particular data object. Now, we will come on to next type of named data object. The next type of named data object is constant. Constant word itself is saying the value or data or content remain fixed. They will not be changed. They have a constant value itself. They have a constant value throughout the program. If I want to declare a constant, if I want to declare a constant data object, how I can declare? Through constants keyword. So you can see the example. I use the keyword constants. This is the name of the data object. This is the type of the data object. And we have decimal places. And this is the fixed value. Fixed value. This value will never change throughout the program. That's why we are saying it as a constant. Constant. So what is constant? It is a named data object. Do we have a name of the data object? Yes, we have a name of the data object. So it is very important to understand the terminology itself. Now, 
we a third type of named data object that is text symbol now text symbol is also also a named data object but we will not declare in the program as of now i will just show you where we will go for text symbol and how we will go for text symbol go to text elements and we have text symbol here we will declare the text symbol we will not declare in the program we will declare as a part of text elements of the program we will declare as a part of text elements of the program so in this video we have so much important terminology because we have so much naming and we have so much terminology or so many things we used we'll just go for the summary because in the next upcoming videos when the practical will start these all will make more more sense to you so in this video we discussed we have two types of data object what is first type of data object literals they are also called as unnamed data object and what is the second type of data object is named data object what is unnamed data object means they do not have a name that's why they are called as unnamed data object but do they have the value yes they have the value so they are always always identified by the value only so unnamed data object are of two types numeric and character or you can take you can tell numeric literals or character literals numeric literal is a sequence of numbers only character literals are sequence of alpha numeric character but we have to put in single quotes and i show you the example also how you can understand or how you can use new how you can use the literals in the program so if you see this 10 is a literal this 10 is a numeric literal so we are using the value in the program we are using the numeric literal in the program after that we discussed we have second type of data object is named data object named data object means we have the name of the data object that's why they are called as named data object we have three types of named data object variable constants text symbol variables means their values or contents are changing to go for the variable to declare the variables we have so many keywords data class data statics parameters select option ranges once programming will start we will use all these keywords to declare the variable and why why variable is called as named data object because we are giving a name to the data object we are assigning the value 10 we are assigning the value 20 it means we are changing the content of the data object that's why it is called as variable it is called as variable now we have the constant yes it is also a named data object because we have the name this is the name of the data object and what is constant data object in that case the value of the the value of the data object will not change we have a fixed value itself and if you want to declare a data object of constant you have to use the keyword constants and in that that case you can see we have this is the data object which has a fixed value or constant value 3.141 which will not change throw out the program itself and the third type of named data object is text symbols text symbols we will not declare in the program but we will declare as a part of text elements and i show you the path itself once practical will start we will go for all these things now in the last four videos 
we covered the maximum maximum theory part of data type and data object so it's very important to understand the terminology first because once the practical part will start we will use all these terminology that's why we covered firstly fully what is data type what is data object what are the various categories of data types what are the various types of data object because all these things will be used in the upcoming videos so that's it in this video thank you